Good morning, what's up everybody? Again, doing this incredibly uncomfortable thing that I do in staring at my phone at a, a reflection of myself, uh, pretending like I'm talking to people. I, uh, I really am not very good at this. I, I'd much rather have someone holding the camera, asking questions and things like that. But you do what you do when you got to do it. And hopefully you guys are enjoying what I do on the rare occasion that I do it. I know I need to step up the, uh, the video game or the quantity of video videos I put out. And you probably all are wishing I'd step up the quality as well. Um, I did purchase a couple little gadgets at the Walmart. Uh, to try and make this easier, like I got a little selfie stick thing, which I don't have with me right now. And that's why this is kind of like a little bit bouncy and whatnot. I'm holding it with my hands. And that is difficult to do for a long period of time because I'm fat and out of shape for the most part. But I also got a little tripod uh, to put my phone on and use when I'm doing like training or whatnot. And I do have a practice scheduled for tonight at my house. Um, not very many people coming over because of the holidays with Christmas coming in a couple of days. So I'm only gonna have a few people there. Uh, maybe I'll put the camera up and get some footage of it and let you guys kind of see uh, more of my training stuff with uh, the guys I had that come over. Anyway, uh, that I'm planning on doing, but I really, I wanted to make this video today to talk a little bit about my next super match coming up. And um, I've, I've kind of mentioned it on Facebook and whatnot. Uh, I'm very anxious about this match. Uh, the, the match is with Artem Morozov. It's, I don't know if you say it that way or if you say Artyom Morozov. Uh, but he's a young kid, 23-ish years old, I think. 23, maybe 24. I, I, don't, I don't think he's 24 yet. So, um, got that match with him February 12th in Turkey. Uh, Ingen reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in the match. And... Uh, I said, yes, I, I do want to test myself against some of the um, upper echelon uh, European arm wrestlers. And, and Artem is ranked number six in the world right now. Uh, I think they have me at like 14, 12 or 14. I can't remember. Somewhere in that, around there. Which, if you guys know who, me very much, I don't necessarily care about rankings. Um, I just basically want to know if I can beat people I haven't beaten. And I haven't arm wrestled a lot of Europeans. Uh, in 2019, when I won the world championship, uh, there were a few good arm wrestlers there. Uh, uh, well, they were all good arm wrestlers. Um, but the, the one of most note ability would be Arif from Turkey. Uh, and he's who I beat for first place. Great guy, amazing arm wrestler. Uh, and I think we've become friends since then. So we, we chat on occasion and keep in touch. But I did watch, in 2018, I watched um, Artem Morozov pull Tobias Sparring. I don't know how to say his last name. From Sweden. Uh, they pulled in the junior championship of that world championship. And I believe uh, uh, Morozov won that match. It was a very close match, but I did see him, you know, when he was a bit younger, uh, I guess that would have been three years ago, 18 to 20, yeah, three years ago. And he looked really good and he's only gotten better since then. He had a match recently with uh, Adif. Uh, I guess it would have been about, I don't know, eight, nine months ago, 
they had a match in uh, Turkey with uh, under the uh, Nomad Arm Wrestling League promotions out of Kazakhstan. Uh, Art Artem is uh, is Kazakhstanian. Um, uh, he is young, strong. He loves being in the gym. I've I've kind of chatted with him a little bit over the last couple of days, and I asked him what he does for fun on his in his spare time, and he said uh, that he hangs out with his friends from school, but mostly he goes to the gym with his girlfriend and does cardio on his free time, which means on his not free time he's in the gym lifting weights. So you consider you could say this kid is a is a gym rat, which. Uh, is awesome and you can tell by his physique and his looks that he spends a lot of time in the gym and he works hard uh in his match against Adif he looked uh pretty dominant um in talking to Adif uh he said that he was still injured in that match uh he was injured from when he and I had arm wrestled in the world championship in 2019 so he'd been injured for almost a year in his uh with his left arm and and he re-injured it in the first match against RTM or Artem. I'm not for sure how you say his name, but seems like an awesome kid. He really does. Uh, I'm excited to get to know him a little bit better. Uh, anxious to arm wrestle him. He he looks like a uh, like a high posting top roller. Uh, uses his riser a lot. He likes his knuckles up high. Which, uh, to be honest, is probably one of my weaknesses. I'm not very good at knuckles up type of uh, uh, pressures. I'm kind of more of a low hand guy. Uh, use my pronation and side pressure a lot. And hopefully I have enough pronation to keep his wrist straight. When he gets his cup in there, he is a beast, a freak of nature. And his wrist does not like to bend backward at all um so hopefully uh my side pressure is enough uh to to get through the kid um i don't know that it is i don't know really how good this kid is he looks phenomenal um so i'm anxious to find out he has wins on other left-handed world champions um that are not anything to be uh, upset about. He he is a very good arm wrestler. Uh, you can go ahead and check him out on YouTube. There are some videos on there of him arm wrestling. Um, he spells his name A R T Y O M. Uh, Morozov is M O R O Z O V, and. Uh, yeah, check him out. He's really good right-handed as well. I've been told that he's better right-handed by some people. And I've been told he's better left-handed by some people. I think he's pretty well-rounded both ways. I think he's a phenomenal athlete and very gifted at the arm wrestling table. But we'll see the closer we get to the match on where I'm at. I'm trying to get my hand better. Uh, it's only uh, really two little little under two months away so i don't have a lot of time to prepare for it uh but i really don't do anything special for preparation uh i i i can arm wrestle anytime um you know as long as i have a little bit of a break in between uh events to recover but i've got him on february 12th and I should be able to get a little bit of hand workout in there, maybe get my wrist a little bit stronger. I don't know how much you can do in a month and a half, but we'll see. Um, I know he's working hard. He's in the gym every day. Uh, and he, he wants to obviously keep moving up in the rankings and, and, and submitting himself as one of the top arm wrestlers in the world which he is pretty much there already. Um, as for me, I'm just an old dog uh, trying to learn new tricks in a sport of young people, especially Europeans. They're all quite a bit younger than us old fogey North Americans. 
But yeah, uh, good kid. I'm looking forward to the match. Uh, I'm sure we'll have more content put out about him and, and I. Uh, I've got to take some pictures. They keep bugging me to get pictures taken to send in um, so they can build a poster for the event. Uh, I'm not good at that stuff either. I had a buddy who uh, is has been into photography. He's been a model. He's an arm wrestler now, and he's a YouTube, not, well, he's a social media uh, guru type guy. He's doing really well with his channels. He and his girlfriend's girlfriend's from South Korea, and they've got uh, quite a popular channel uh, going right now. Uh, and tried to get him to come and help me with some pictures. But he is uh, not available for some time. Uh, he's been spending time with his girlfriend who's here visiting from South Korea, uh, South Korea so trying to take advantage of every minute uh, he can to spend with her and this long distance relationships suck but you guys didn't want to hear that anywho uh, I've got to get maybe my wife to help me with some pictures to send over for uh, for this poster I've got to decide which shirt I'm gonna wear uh, which one makes me look the least uh, least fat because that's uh, hard to do <laughs> anyway um, I'll probably get some uh, some footage of of practice training tonight and um, try and get that set out to you guys as quickly as possible if I can. I also want to do a little bit of rice bucket, uh, what I do in the rice bucket for recovery and show you guys a little bit about what that is um, and how I do that. Been having some issues in my forearm, some from my, my broken arm surgery where I broke my radius bone. Uh, that's actually just over a year ago. I did it December 5th of last year. Um, and I believe the surgery was right about now. So I've, uh, I've been uh, trying to uh, get that all squared away. I've got a little bit of pain in there, uh, mostly on release of pressure when you're arm wrestling, but that when you let off the pressure and the uh, release, it sends a lot of shooting pains through my arm. So I'm trying to get that figured out. Um, but that's the life of an arm wrestler. We're always dealing with some sort of issue, some sort of uh, injury slash pain. Uh, anyway, hey guys, thank you so much for the support. I'm at, I, th I think I'm at 580-ish uh, subscribers right now. I would love to get to 1,000. I'd like to do these live on occasion so I can chat with you guys, uh, uh, you know, get to know all of you a little bit better. So please, uh, uh, if you have not, please subscribe. Please like this video uh, and get your friends to subscribe. Uh, any arm wrestling buddies you have, get them to subscribe uh, and help me out so I can get to that thousand mark. I mean, I'd like to go higher, obviously. I'm not too necessarily worried about monetizing my channel. That's not important to me. Uh, but uh, what is important is being able to respond to you guys more directly and as as I'm talking. It's just easier that way than trying to go back on all the the um, responses and go from there. So again, yeah, please uh, share this. Get your friends to, to subscribe. I finally got my wife to subscribe just the other day. Uh, so that's kind of how it is in my household. I, I can't even get my own family to, 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 to support me when it comes to this YouTube stuff. No, she didn't know what know how to do it exactly. So we had to work through that on her phone and get it taken care of. But yeah, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Help me out, guys. Help me out. Let me let's let's make this good. Let's make it something that uh, I can make more enjoyable for you, uh, you all, and and it's easier for me to respond than it is to ad lib. I guess was what you'd call this. But yeah, uh, hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas, the Happy New Year. Uh, I love Christmas, my favorite time of the year. I get so excited to spend time with with family and 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 enjoy that uh, that spirit of the season together. Um, it's a great time to ponder on what the true meaning of Christmas is. And I'm a very religious Christian person, and. Uh, I really, I look forward to, uh, you know, putting Christ back into Christmas in my life. That's important to me. And uh, I enjoy uh, reminiscing or pondering on him at this time of year. So uh, appreciate all you guys do for me and for arm wrestling. It's a great sport. 
uh, hope to uh, get some stuff out there you guys enjoy and I look forward to reading your comments in the bottom so hey guys like always just approach life like I do a meal don't miss out on it don't miss out on it thanks guys